we're the Steve Sisters. I'm Sandhya. And I'm Swapka. And we love exploring science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And we love snow. Did you know every snowflake is unique? Hang on, I've heard that before, but is it really true? Yep, every single snowflake is different. And that's especially at the microscopic level. We can't check every single one, of course, but the chances of there being two identical snowflakes is one in a million trillion. No way. But what are snowflakes made of? Well, they're made of a couple of different things. Water vapor, which is water in its gas form, and debris, things like little tiny bits of salt or dust or pollen. <laughs> and when water vapor freezes directly onto that debris, it forms an ice crystal, which grows and grows as more water vapor freezes directly onto it. And when a gas freezes into a solid without turning into a liquid in between, like water vapor turning right into an ice crystal, that's called sublimation. So if you're wishing for some of that fluffy white stuff, you're gonna have to wish for below minus 10 degrees Celsius temperatures way up in the sky where these snowflakes start to form and enough water vapor and debris as starting materials. And as snowflakes fall from the sky to the ground or your hand in between, its path affects its shape. For example, if the ice crystal meets another water droplet on its way down and melts together, or if the temperature changes it. And as the ice crystal grows, the water molecules inside arrange themselves symmetrically, giving us that well-known six-sided shape. And did you know that snowflakes are actually transparent? We see them as white because they reflect light. It's no doubt about it, but there's still a little bit of a catch. While every snowflake is gonna be unique, there still are a lot of similarities. Temperature and the amount of moisture in the air can help play a role in determining whether they're more hexagonal or star-shaped. And scientists can use these similarities to group them and talk about their more common characteristics. There are eight broad groups, including columns and plates. And you can have a ball right at home by making your very own snowflakes using some paper, scissors, and your imagination. Try figuring out how many shapes you can make. And why don't you try and beat the existing record for the largest ever paper snowflake, which is 6.1 meters. That's no joke. Wow, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out the Shaftesbury Kids YouTube channel for tons of videos and full episodes of TV shows streaming for free.